Okay, today we are on page six, exercise four. All right, raise your hand if you can tell me what key are we in today? Um, Caitlin. Key. The key of G, very good. And everybody look at our first measure, okay? The first measure we start on what, Kat? Me. No. Dang it, I thought I was the no. Start on what, Julia? Do. Do, very good. Now I want to point something out to you, okay? So everybody look at the screen real quickly. All right, so we're in the key of G, we're starting on do. Now, when we get to the end of this first line, is there a double bar line there? No. no, so the double bar line tells us we're at the end, but there's no double bar line yet. So today, we are going to continue reading on to the second line. So we're gonna to get to the end of this line. We're, we're all gonna be reading the soprano line only today. We'll get to the end of that first line, and then we're going to skip down and go back, go to the second line of the soprano part until we get all the way to the end and we have this double bar line here which tells us we're done. So we're going to be reading both the first and the second line of our sight reading today. Is everybody with me? Yeah. Okay, now I want you to notice what happens here. What, what are we doing right here in the last measure? And the second bar line? Well, do we, do we hold this note for three solid beats? Yeah. Does that help us have time to find our second line? Yeah. It does. So do not let your beautiful little eyes stare at fa for three solid beats and then not know where the next line is when we get there. Okay? Make sure that you use this fa to your advantage. Look ahead. Start finding that second line of the soprano part. Okay? This is one of the most difficult skills in sight reading for choir musicians, not for band people, not for orchestra people. The only lines on their music are their lines. They don't have to learn how to read like this, okay? So you're gonna get to the end of your line and then you gotta figure out where the next stave is and where your next line is. You gotta be able to skip over other, other parts to find yours, okay? So make sure that you use that to your advantage Make sure that you use those three beats to your advantage so you have plenty of time to find your next line. All right, now that we've talked about that, let's go through and let's identify all of the skips in our music. Let's, let's look at it. So everybody look at number four. We start on do, looking at that soprano line. Where is our first skip? Miss Hannah? Uh, the first line goes uh, do to me. Very good, the first measure, we're gonna go from do up to me. Excellent job, now where is our second skip? Does anybody see it? Alyssa? Second measure, Very good. The second measure, we're going to go from me down to do. So we start off do, me, and then we sing the same thing just in reverse. Me, do. Right? Okay, now let's continue to follow on that, on that first line. Do we see any other skips anywhere on the first line? I see Hannah shaking her head like, nope. I don't see any either. So now let's skip down to that second line. Make sure you're on the soprano line on the second line, okay? Now, where is our first skip on the second line? Where do you see it? Hannah? Uh, from me to do. In which measure? Oh, um. You can just say one, two, three. Okay, the second measure of the second line. The second measure of the second line, we have me down to do. Now, does this measure look like the second measure up here? No. It does, doesn't it? It's identical. So we already know what this measure sounds like. Remember, we're gonna start learning to recognize repeated material. Okay, let's continue looking on our music. Where is our next skip? Where's the next one? Caitlin? Six and seven. Excellent, it goes from me and six up to so in measure seven. Now, a lot of times it's easy for our eyes to skip over those kinds of gaps because this bar line, there's something about that bar line that makes it harder for us to see things, okay? So, very good job, Caitlin. We have that skip from me at the end of measure six to so at the beginning of measure seven. Now, where is our, do we have any other skips? No, pretty simple, right? So let's review those real quick. Do, me, me, do. Those are the only skips on the first line. Okay, you sing all the way to the end. Remember, when we get here, you gotta look ahead to find the beginning of the next line. 
Then we get to the second measure. Mi do. There's our skip. We don't have another one until we get here. Mi so. Now we're in the key of G. So all of our broken chord notes are going to be on what? Lines. They're all going to be on lines. That's exactly right. That will help us to quickly identify those. Okay? Here we go. Let's chant our way through. Starts on do. We're in three, four time. One, two, three. Chanting. Ready. Go. Do. Mi. Louder. Mi. Do. really quickly to find the first line and look at measure three. You see all those eighth notes in that measure? I think when your eyes first hit it, you're like, oh my gosh, it's a lot of eighth notes. But then you realized about halfway through, like, oh, we're just stepping up the scale, right? So it's not as hard as it looks, okay? So just remember that's la, la, ti, do. You're just stepping right up the scale. And then the exact same thing, look. So here's this measure three, and we get down to measure three here. Is it the same thing? It is, but again, that repeated material, you did significantly better the second time through because I think you recognized it, okay? It's really warm in here. I'm sorry, I'll fix it in just a minute, okay? Here we go, ready? Broken floor? Well, I won't fix it, I'll do what I can. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I will fix it, but I will try. Ready, broken chord, and... <laughs> Good job, put that away, put that away.